Okay, come get dressed with daddy. Cause you're gonna go on a walk. Get your, get over, get over. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Guess what? Today we're gonna have a cookie competition. No. No? No cookie. No cookies? Okay, I'll remember that. There is no better way to start Vlogmas Day 21 than you guys did not see, what was it, two vlogs back now? Yeah. My mom gifted me with the Dyson Airwrap and I am so grateful. I don't have words. Never used this thing before. I've never even had a dupe. Like I was thinking about getting the dupe because this thing is just so dang expensive and I wanted to try it, but then I got on the roller trend and loved that for a bit, but that's just like a lot of work. So we're gonna try it. I washed my hair. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wash my hair, I'm just letting it towel dry right now. See what home got me? What? The Dyson Air Wrap. It's the Dyson Air Wrap. Just like a bunch of different things. Got the same brand in the vacuum. I don't even know if I need heat protected because it's air heat technology. Right. Are you doing another flex? No. Dan Reynolds? <laughs> So there's like this little knob at the top where you can just switch which direction you want the air to flow. So I'm gonna do out and try it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm scared. I'm sorry, this is so good. Okay, the cookie competition has begun. We have some cheaters here starting super early. Look at me. I haven't no, even gone to the store it. and got my stuff yet. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's called preparation and non-preparation. I'm kidding. We got some stuff cooking up in here. I'd rather people would throw it earlier. I'd hate that, the rush part. Halo, you ready? Ready? Oh, <laughs> Let's go! Oh my! Come on! It is now 4 11. No. I just made it to Whole Foods. I gotta run in and grab a few things for my cookie recipe. Um, last year and the year before that, we did cupcake competitions with Sam's family, and we're still doing that whenever we go to see Sam's family in a couple days. My family wanted to start a annual cookie competition. So Sam, my mom, and dad are already starting their cookies. I have really high hopes for my cookie. Like, I know I'm gonna love my cookie. I just hope everybody else likes my cookie. But yeah, we kinda gotta hurry, so let's go. First up, Whole Foods. Oh, and you know I'm heading up that pizza bar. Okay, let's do it. This is cold butter. So I hope it's cheap. Express. We together the all-purpose flour, cake flour, cornstarch, baking soda, baking powder, and salt in a large bowl and set aside. One, two. Thank God we don't have to sift them this time. That's the thing about me is I'm not gonna fully perfectly measure. I'm just gonna wish for the best. One and a half of cake flour. I never even knew cake flour existed. One. And <laughs> two <laughs> teaspoons of corn starch. One, two. <laughs> 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 Those Seems a little Use 20, less. like 20, 20. We got all our dry ingredients. No, I'd wait after I get my dry ass cookies. <laughs> oh, look. I'm whisking them together. Damn it. Where is my daughter? Yes. In the back? You're lying. Okay. Place the butter into the bowl of a stand mixer. Cream the butter. And then you add the sugar. I'm not here to use this bad boy. I should have came out here to cook my whole entire cookie batch because it's nice and peaceful. One cup. One of these sticks is a half a cup. So obviously basic. What is that? Fractions. Chemistry is two. Go. 
And then it says to add in one and a quarter cup of sugar. One quarter cup of sugar. Something doesn't look right. We need to separate it. So now it says to add in the eggs, the egg yolks, and the cake batter extract, but I couldn't find cake batter extract, so they said that you could use half almond, half vanilla, and it kind of gives the same effect. We're gonna add it all into the blender, the mixer. Okay, so now we have to try to get just the yolk. We did it! Egg yolk one, much easier than I thought. Egg yolk two. Okay, so half almond, ah! half vanilla. Next step says to gradually add in the flour mixture. Add in about a quarter cup at a time. So flour, mix. I have never in my entire life made a cookie from scratch. I am such a cookie dough type of girl. But the internet says these are the best funfetti cookies. I didn't even tell you guys. Oh my gosh, this is a secret for everybody else. But since I'm outside, I can tell you, I'm doing a Funfetti cream cheese icing cookie. So it's gonna be a sandwich. I bought a star cut out, and I'm gonna make two Funfetti cookies, mash it together in a sandwich with cream cheese icing, and then to add some extra, I bought Ghirardelli white chocolate chips. So I don't know what I'm gonna technically call it, but white chocolate chip birthday cake cookie sandwich. Add in the sprinkles. So I'm just gonna do red and green. And my own little add-in are these Ghirardelli white chocolates. I feel like this is gonna take you some mm -hmm. Yes, please. Mmm. Like this dough is actually addicting. Okay, so it says measure out about seven six ounce cookies and then bake them for nine to 11 minutes and let them cool for 15. Hands are washed. I bet none of my other family members wash their stanky hands. Don't what? What are you doing? Of course. What? Sprinkles. Creativity is part of this. So I bought a star shaped cookie cutter and we're gonna make these into star shapes. Can you help us? Okay. You guys each, there's three things in for each of you in there. They're all the same? It's a set, yeah. So you guys have a matching set. Ready? It's called the empty, empty tomb. tomb. <gasps> so like how most people wear a cross and that's like very symbolic. Like I love, you guys always see you guys like this, which is the Trinity and it's yeah. different. So that's different. That's like when they open and the tomb and it was empty. You can get crosses anywhere, but this yes. is something that's like I completely different. That. I'm sure it's, click on the screen. A necklace, well me and Jay Clay both are the same thing. Necklace, yes. Dude, so bracelet, oh and gosh. earring set. I'm actually gonna put them on now. Look how cute this is! I'm obsessed. Matching bracelet, matching earrings, and then me and my mom got the same exact one, so we got a little twinning set. Wait, do you like my necklace yeah, and my bracelet and my earrings? Seriously. Yeah, it's nice. So it's the symbol of the empty tomb. Oh, oh, the rock move rolled out of it. Whose are those, the bottom? Oh, they look like fucking garlic knots. <laughs> Eat that out of Making garlic sure. knots? Yeah. Jay Clay's. Thank you. Winter cookies. Here, this is Sam's, everyone, listen. This, this is the bad batch. <laughs> <laughs> Taze and Austin's look wildly Maybe similar. Screwed. Mine are cooking to absolute perfection. I'm not using it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and just to remind you guys, again. again. My, uh, my special idea. <laughs> that no, was there. not even. No. Here, sis, you need a you cooling? Right Here's the cookies. I took first last year. I'm going to take first again this year, people. Sure. <laughs>
Okay, let's go. Are everyone ready? Ready. Yeah. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, this is our first time meeting Sydney. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, it's good. Uh -oh. Now I have to think about, think about great. this. Let's look at Austin. Look at us again. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way because I want to do mix it, not so much yeah. chocolate. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, so, you're going mine. Just grab it up. I'm, I got it right yeah. now. Oh, he's, look, he's got it right now. In your note. Today, I've prepared you a homemade, handcrafted sugar cookie. Layered with a hand-spun, heavy whipped cream, oh. buttered frosting. Oh. Right on, right on the Center filled with a orange zest, oh. raspberry smash, <laughs> marmalade. Oh, so just oh, absolutely. Marmalade. No, that's an orange. <laughs> Grapefruit would be very bitter. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, it's falling apart. That's just very bitter. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, my shit's stuck together. <laughs> and to have the ice cream on top of it. Did you get some of the marmalade? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that would be a cash yeah. roll. I think I'm going to take a second bite. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Remember, you don't even have to if take If Sam beats me. Bro, you gotta look at the, oh, look at the way it just oh, oozes oh, down. That might be the bite you want to get. I watched him <laughs> sieve that thing. Ooh, that oh. fall apart. I mean, that's... Okay, let's go back to that one. Yes. Okay. So we have the award-winning oh. chocolate chip cookie with a secret ingredient topped with there is a powdered sugar icing, and then on top of that is another award-winning brownie bite wow. dipped into a white. Whose awards yeah. did you win? Like Walmart's? <laughs> What's going on? There? <laughs> That's what the box said. <laughs> yeah. The box said award winning. <laughs> Secret ingredient. Like, dipped in 14 karat gold with Whoa. diamond specks on it. Let's and you can take that home. Yeah, zoom in yeah. on this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, my dessert looked just like mine. Expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put this bike back. <laughs> oh. Napkin, <Not good>, please. <laughs> Two <laughs> percent. You might want to like, drink the yeah, milk with the cookie. It's whole milk. I have oat, soy, keto. We have a bunch of different milks. If you can't drink whole milk, it's fine. Okay. Um, you, that has nothing to do with my cookie though. So my cookie is a confetti pop tart puff. So, oh, I said it looked like a swollen pop tart. So I just <laughs> it. <laughs> well, it is. It's a confetti. It it's a confetti like pop tart. Smell. It's a confetti pop tart. Pop tarts look a little hot more high end. That is she like supposed to dip it in the toast milk? No, she's not supposed to dip no it in the milk. Absolutely not. Is it so one big bite? Oh right? <laughs> sure. Like sure. Let's know. She called you Santa. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she's spinning. Man, just like her husband, cookies just fall apart. She's dying. But or last year's wasn't edible either. <laughs> Right as I took the bite, and they're just yeah, it's okay, it's your story. You can tell it however you want. Look, he's good. Oh, I got it. Ooh. I wasn't spinning it up. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm okay if you win. Maybe I bet. No, like Tabies. Tabies Save the best for fifth, right? <laughs> okay, so that's a hot chocolate cookie oh, no. with freeze dried marshmallows and chocolate chunks. Okay. And pine cones of decoration. The hot cocoa so cookie. Dried marshmallows with chocolate yeah. chunks. Can you put this on the Displayed okay. over a beautiful hey, salmon <clears throat> board. Hey, that's not the same. Salmon board. That is a salmon board. That is a salmon coming with that. Thank God we did mine. Look, look at my shit fell off. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was saying, yeah. bro. No, I understand. I understand. <sighs> oh. Mm. Ooh, oh, it's double. chocolate. A double bite. It's like fucking <laughs> 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 Cookie there was inspired by my grandmother who was. God <laughs> rest her soul. <laughs> Are you making fun of great no, grandma? No. no. <laughs> she was a. This is uh, his story. Emerald and a, uh, you know, she was born in May. Yes, it was made with love <laughs> to <laughs> my grandmother. The emerald and the. The emerald? The what is emerald? Shield May's emerald. birthstone. <laughs> <laughs> a Hawaiian. Cream pie you just put every flavor because they just kind of like so this about pie. It. it was my favorite as a kid. I remember as a kid. Oh, oh don't make that face. I was just trying to sway her decision. Oh, she had a little smack. Oh, yeah, it must be a little bit better. It looked a little bit better. A 
Very it's good. honestly, it's honestly fine. None of us, uh, none of us besides Sam will have any reaction. Yeah, the These two may fist fight, but we'll just push them off. I just think she's not a big target. Yeah, look at her. I can't either. Wait. Unfortunately, oh shit, it's me. <laughs> Last place was number six. Oh shit! <laughs> super early so don't mind the morning voice first coffee but I wanted to make sure I got this Bible study in for you guys before we head on the road. Me and Sam and Halo are leaving Arizona and we're heading to Wyoming to go see his family. And yesterday I spent all day with my family so I didn't get around to filming the Bible study portion. So we're just gonna combine the vlogs today. But no more rambling, let's jump straight in. Luke chapter 21 is where we'll start off. So in this chapter, Jesus and his disciples, they're walking through the temple and this temple is so beautiful, like more beautiful than anything you can imagine. It is gold, it is luxury, it is royal. Royal. It is stunning. So the disciples, they're admiring it. They're like, whoa, this place is amazing. And as they're walking through, Jesus says to them, this temple one day will be destroyed. He is foretelling the fall of Jerusalem. This is going to be a prophetic connection. So I found this when I was researching this chapter from EnduringWord.com. Again, this is such an amazing reference if you don't understand what you're reading. So they put it perfectly that Jesus spoke both of the coming destruction of Jerusalem, which he's speaking about in scripture here, and of the ultimate end of age in his glorious return. So when Jesus comes back. So prophetically, 
the two are connected even though they're separated by many centuries. So Jesus is warning them about the wars, about the false messiahs, about the natural disasters, the persecutions. All of these things will come before Jerusalem falls. Watch out that you are not deceived. There will be false messiahs, people coming in my name, acting like they are me. Do not follow them because I am he. So false messiahs also in verse 10, it says nation will be raised up against nation and kingdom against kingdom wars. There will be violent earthquakes and famines and plagues in various places, natural disasters. Before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you. Persecution. So back to EnduringWord.com, I wanted to read this from Charles Spurgeon. It says, we must regard the siege of Jerusalem and the destruction of the temple as being a kind of rehearsal of what is yet to be. So all this happened for Jerusalem's fall, this is all yet to be. So as the signs of the same kind with those seen before Jerusalem were destroyed shall also be seen before the great and terrible day of our Lord's coming to judge the world. But verse 34 is so important. This is basically the need to be watchful. The son of man himself is going to come down in a cloud with power and glory. Each of us are going to have to face him. So this is just saying, stay alert, be ready. When Jesus Jesus comes back don't get caught off guard when Jesus returns be ready be alert wouldn't it be amazing that when Jesus comes back you were doing something to glorify him instead of being caught in sin when Jesus comes back because again we don't know the time the hour the day so just like this applied to the people before the fall of Jerusalem and Jesus is prepping them then he is prepping us now this applies to us now so I know that's a lot. I know that can be scary. That could put fear inside of you, but that is not what God has intended. God wants you to know if you are a follower of him, if you are right with him, if you believe in him, if you know him, if you love him, this isn't your end. Your end is that you win. You're on the winning team. You just need to know if you are right with God, you have nothing to fear. All Jesus says to do is to live intentionally and the things that matter are eternal. So chapter 22, this is all about the last week of Jesus's life on earth. This is his last week before he is taken to die on the cross. So it is the festival of unleavened bread. It's also called Passover and Jesus is about to have a meal with his disciples. Again, Jesus has 12 disciples and one of these disciples, Judas, is going to betray Jesus. We already know that these Jewish leaders want Jesus dead. So what they do is they approach one of his disciples, somebody who is close to Jesus, somebody who has the inside scoop, somebody who Jesus thinks he can trust. Okay, so let's go to verse three. Here it says that Satan entered Judas, who was numbered among the 12 disciples. He went away, discussed with the chief priests and temple police how he could hand him over to them. So Judas is out here negotiating how he's going to benefit from handing over Jesus. So they agreed to give him silver. He accepted the offer and started looking for a good opportunity to portray Jesus. So this is the thing. Jesus could so easily overpower Judas. If Jesus did not want to die on that cross, he didn't have to. But Jesus is trusting in God's plan. I wrote in my notes, it says evil must play out its role. But what the enemy intends for evil, Jesus and God use for the good of his people. So, so many times Satan will try to use something for evil and what he intends for an evil, malicious, deceitful, sad and depressing outcome, God actually can use for our good. Jesus dying on the cross is the best example. Satan wanted Jesus to die on the cross so that everybody thought they lost all hope that everybody was sad everybody was grieving and weeping but what god did is he took this horrible thing that happened and he used it for good god knew that through the pain and through the suffering of jesus and through his blood being shed that we could be purified we could be forgiven you could have a place for us in heaven to spend eternity with the father okay so now let's jump into where jesus is eating the passover meal with his disciples and he is teaching them a new memorial that he wants them to observe and we all know this as communion and communion is used to remind you about the death on the cross so we all know the two very symbolic foods that represent jesus's death on the cross there's the bread and there's the wine the bread is to represent his body who died and suffered for us and the blood is to represent the cleansing of our sins so in verse 19 that says he took the bread 
gave thanks, broke it, and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in verse 20, it says, in the same way, he also took the cup of wine and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. Verse 21 says, but look, the hand of the one betraying me is at the table with me. So Jesus is sitting at the table with his disciples. They're having the communion together. And Jesus serves even the one he knows that will betray him. Jesus is already ahead of all of this. He knows it's going to happen. He is with the Jewish mob. They come to Jesus. They arrest Jesus as Judas is leading them. And you know what this man does? He comes up to Jesus and gives him a kiss on the cheek. I would slap the man silly. But instead, Jesus just says to him, Judas, are you betraying the son of man with a kiss? So Jesus is falsely accused in a phony trial and he was mocked and he was beaten. And this is just the beginning of it. This is nothing compared to what's about to come. That no matter what evil or bad takes place in the world, that God's plan is greater and that ultimately God wins. And if we're on his team, we win. All right, that wraps up our double day, Luke 21 and 22. Thank you guys so much for studying the Bible with me. I gotta go finish packing and get on the road. And honestly, we'll probably just do our Advent box on the road whenever we stop. So I'll see you guys then. Love ya. Okay, hopefully we don't get copyright from the gas station music, but we just made it on the road. We're gonna quickly do our <laughs> Advent calendar. Oh, thank you. You guys. <laughs> And we have a double today. Can mommy go first today? Okay. We have a double today because we missed yesterday. So I'm gonna do 11. Today I win eye masks. <gasps> Clinique take the day off makeup remover. I've actually used this before and I love it. I like this and the balm. Thank you, Jay Clay. And a lotion, today's is lilac and bellflower. Obligatory smelling. Are you busy eating? Mmm, you can smell mommy's hand. Good. So good. And uh, chocolate. I can get it out. Hey, what chocolate. are you doing? What are you and doing? $60. Woo! That's mommy's box. Halo's turn. Okay. My turn. Ready? We have to say Giggy Box. Giggy Box. Giggy Box. Or number one or number four? Four. Four. Mommy, for the sake of time, is going to rip them out for you and show you, okay, while you eat. Halo got a puzzle. Oh, you have to shake it. Woo! Halo got another barn. Pink barn. And what's inside the board? Hop up. A hop up. So cute. Pink barn. Bunny. We could take these to Iva's house and play with Iva. And then we got a tiger finger puppet. What's the tiger say? And we got Tigger. He's from Winnie the Pooh. He goes boing, boing, boing on his tail. We got the Tigger. I think we already got the other version of that one too. Then we got a sled tattoo. And lastly, a stingray for the back. <laughs> Are you happy? Happy. Happy. Mama. Don't throw anything. Mama. That is Mama. That's when Halo that was Halo in Mama's with, belly. Is that Halo okay, in Mama's belly? Okay, last one for this box. What have we got? Who's that? We Who's got. Who's that? Who's that? Is that Halo? Is that you? Is that you and Dada? Nothing to see here. More money or what? Oh my god. <laughs> we got a hundred dollar bill. We got our eye masks. Another lotion. Oh, this one's rose. This one smells really good. And. Chocolate. Little road trip snack. That's, that's mommy's road trip snack. You got your breakfast. <laughs> oh! <gasps> this is your last box on this one. And we have one more box on the is other one. Is that box trash? Yep. I'm gonna take it out. Oh, it's so sad. Make sure you open it and check that nothing got missing in there. It's switched around. Okay, ready, Austin? Or Austin. It's called my daughter Austin. Kayla, ready? Last box. What is it? <gasps> Another crumble gift card! You guys, we are 
stacked on the crumble gift cards. What'd you get? Go ahead. What'd you get? What'd you get? Another baby! Wait. The third Tigger that she's gotten. Two, two different days, same exact Tigger. Oh, wait, no. Are they different? No. Or is that Garfield? <gasps> it was Garfield. What is this? Is this a bunny or an elephant? Oh, it's a donkey. Baby, take a bite. Take a bite. Donkey. Take a bite, hello. Yeah. Take a bite of your food. Take a bite. Take a bite. Well, when you're hungry, that's what you get. Is that one empty too? And another puzzle. And a snowman tattoo. Here you go, this is trash. So now we got toys for the road. You can bring these to go play with Iva, okay? Okay, can we say thank you, Giggy? We love you. No, no, no. I do love Giggy. Blow kisses to Giggy. Say, I love you, Giggy. And we miss you already, Giggy. <laughs>